Hey everybody, it's John from America. Sam from England. Chantal from South Africa. Nice, and today we are going to be doing our next part of our series of slang challenge ready for you guys. I've tried to pick some pretty good American slang, which people still do use in certain regions mm -hmm. and sometimes across America, but I don't think you guys are going to know it. Okay. I'm trying to pick harder ones. I do have something special for voting today. Instead of just raising your hand and saying your name, what could that be? We're going to raise the <laughs> Statue of Liberty. <laughs> uh, anyways, so yeah, so you just raise those and say either your name, Merck, it doesn't really matter. Just let me know what you want Okay. and who raises first. Tea and biscuits. Tea and biscuits. Tea and biscuits. Well, you asked me what I want. So. Yes. Fry. So, are you guys ready? Was, yes, <gasps> as ready as I'll ever be. Let me, let me try to find something that Shantel. you guys might know for the very first one. Okay. <laughs> to pass the buck. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you in, you in. To pass the buck means to give someone else the blame and not take the responsibility oh, or something. Yeah, good job, good job. Booyah! Chantel, yeah. one yeah. point! Next one. Okay. Oh, just to recap. Pass the buck means to like pass your responsibility on to another person. Uh, something like this. Man, I really get annoyed at John. He's always passing the buck. Uh -huh. He's always avoiding responsibility. Uh -huh. On to other people. All right, I'm ready. Number two. Okay, this okay. is a more difficult one. This is from Pennsylvania. Well, it's not from Pennsylvania. Sam from England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are disqualified. Yeah. <laughs> but it is from that area. It's called uh, yins. Yins? Or yous. Yins or yous. Sam? Sam. From England? Shoes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your accent is we'll terrible. Give context. Yeah. Okay. So she can go next. Okay. So we're gonna give context. Yins, get out of my yard. Uh, Chantal. Oh, she never, she never <laughs> disqualified for not knowing Chantel. her name. <laughs> okay. Yins, get out of my yard means you people, you <laughs> animals, dogs, cats. Sam from England. Rise. I think I'm gonna have to give it to her. Oh, it's kids! Ah. It's not kids. Oh, okay, it's not Our kids. The first one was closest. You people or you all. You'll hear this uh, <laughs> where I came from. I kind of kind of used it more sarcastically because it was like a slang from another part of America. So it'd be, oh yeah, use guys. We always say oh, all the time. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Number three. Okay. okay. Chantel two, Sam zero. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Caddy Wampus. Don't tell for South Africa. Okay. Uh, how does, does South Africa know? We need to make your name shorter. Caddy Wampus. Is that someone who's always complaining? No. Okay. okay. Can I have some context, con context please? <laughs> My brain gets all cattywampus while I study Korean grammar. Oh, can, I, can I go again? It's, 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 it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam from England. <laughs> yeah. It's like all over the place, confused. Yeah, I'll have to give it okay, to you for that one. Confused, <laughs> disorganized, okay. out of order, yeah, yeah. confused is okay. okay. Cattywampus. Cattywampus. So cattywampus kind of means like not straight in the beginning, but mm. now it kind of means like disorganized mm. or out of order. Cattywampus. Yeah. So you could also say that uh, that road is cattywampus, which kind of means like diagonal or oh. something like that, or not straight. All right. Next one. Oh, hard or easy, guys? Let's do hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to be like putting lipstick on a pig. Sound from England. Uh huh. I've got a uh, this. Uh, to totally not fit or not suit someone. Oh, that's a good guess, but right. Okay, you get to guess now. It's um, something very difficult to do. <laughs> <laughs> Again, true. <laughs> but wrong. Okay, now you have to give. I'm tired time. of your riddles, John. <laughs> oh, this okay, is tough. Man, can I, do it I like it. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, okay. okay. How so about this? Okay. I'll do a situation where okay. you say it instead of like a quote. Okay. You you bought a car and it keeps breaking down. The inside is like really kind of broke, breaking down. It's dirty and everything. But oh, Sam from England. Oh no, no, you didn't finish. Oh no. no. Wait. <laughs> I was gonna say like un unfixable or like yeah. You're getting closer, but you don't have the spirit of it yet. Yeah, okay. it's unfixable! It <laughs> so but? it's really dirty on the inside, it keeps breaking down, but what? they put a fresh coat of paint and it looks really pretty on the outside. Oh, I know it. Okay, but it's your turn. So basically, it's 
about the appearance on the outside looks good, but the inside is like messed up and mucked up. Maybe try to get more of the spirit of it rather oh, than the literal I, part. I, I, Just go, go for ahead. it. Like, like, it's yeah. like no matter how much you mm -hmm. like polish or mm -hmm. paint a paint for polish or put a gold layer on a, on a, on a poop, mm -hmm. it, it's still poop. Doesn't matter how much you try yes. to improve it. Yeah. Yes. No matter how much you polish a turd, yeah. it's still a turd. A turd. Yeah. <sighs> Jonesing. Oh, oh I've heard this one. Oh. So changing is not being or pretentious or pretending no. to be what you're not. No. No. Being, not? being lazy? No. Oh. <laughs> I can give context now? Context. Uh, pretty much every morning, I'm really jonesing for a coffee. Shut up. Wanting. Oh no, I just well, said something. <laughs> I said wanting. <laughs> I just said wanting. Jonesing is like uh, craving and want yeah. to want something. Oh, I didn't I have got my name. I was wanting. Say craving. <laughs> so we got three for yeah, you, yeah. two for you so far. And yeah, we'll do a couple more to Duke. Which is the top? To Duke. Oh no, sorry. I oh. thought something else. Oh, okay. yeah. Sam for me. No, no, no. no. Okay. Is it like to skip out on something, not do something? Oh, good guess, but no. No, oh, damn. damn. Completely yeah. wrong. Man, siblings are always duking it Sam out. Sam for me, the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like duking it out, like fighting. Yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah, you got it. That was close. So I, got, like, I got the S was just ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> Alright, you guys still might know this, but. Okay. It's whoever's quickest on the draw. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, we have to end our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> to be for the birds. <laughs> Do you want to go? No. Sam for England. <laughs> Sam for England. Okay. Um, oh, this is hard. <laughs> you don't know. To, be, to be for the birds. Uh -huh. um, suitable for a group. Can I try my try, yeah, now? Yeah, try now? Something trivial? Oh! Yeah, really, really close. I might have to give it to you. Really? Yes. Oh! oh! <laughs> this is our queen. <laughs> oh, to be for the birds. That, how did you get that? Was, that was a good guess. Yeah. How did you get that? How did you know? I don't know why. I just, you know, birds. I think birds are unimportant. So. Oh. <laughs> That's why we're different, Chantel. I'm not a bird person. <laughs> wow. I hope no birds are watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Today, we got to see some American slang that is not so common in the world, but is pretty common in the U.S. Go ahead and drop some more slang from your country or from countries that you've heard of yeah. <laughs> in the comments below. And it was really good to see you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Nice. And we will see you next time at Pagoda One. Bye. Bye-bye.